Okay guys, welcome to study with me in the month of Ramadan. Today I'm going to be showing you how I study while fasting. Hello guys, welcome to study with me in the month of Ramadan. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I study while fasting. So first of all, I want to say Ramadan Mubarak to all our Muslim friends all around the world. And today, I'm going to be showing you how I study while fasting. For we as students, uh, not being able to eat during the day, during Ramadan, can be tough. But I think it depends on... Uh, the student. Some people are still able to go through some have difficulty in studying during the month of Ramadan just because they are not able to eat. But then I would like to say that um, not being able to eat shouldn't affect your ability to study during the day in the month of Ramadan. You just have to make a few adjust adjustments and you'll be fine. I know studying in the month of Ramadan can be a lot because you are not able to eat and studying requires a lot of energy. But then there are ways for you to go through, but today I'm just going to be showing you how I maneuver and I'm able to go through studying a few hours in the day during the month of Ramadan. Okay, so today before I go into what I'll be studying, I will have to say that uh, we are currently in our final year in medical school. So we are doing a few rotations like internal medicine and surgery, but for today, the staffs I will be reading will be mainly surgical staffs because we have a lot of lectures that we've covered and I have to read them and also prepare just ahead of time so that I can know whatever I want to do. And to get this session started, I have my tools, I have my laptop in front of me, I have my books, that's the badger, that's the surgical book we use in Ghana, and I have my notebooks to take a few notes during this uh, study session. Um, other than that, I don't, really, I don't really require a lot of gadgets to study, just a few things, and I'm good to go. And I have this, my spare phone, that I can use as timer because today I'm going to be using uh, the Pomodoro technique. Uh, for me, I'm kind of uh, someone that is able to study for longer hours, but since it's the month of Ramadan, I'm deciding to use the Pomodoro technique so that I don't stress myself out and become hungry <laughs> maybe during the day. Yeah, but then today I'm going to be using the Pomodoro technique, and what I'll be doing is that I'll be doing 50 minutes of active studying, and I'll take 10 minutes break. Uh, also, during the day, we are going to have uh, an online lecture. So, after doing maybe the first session, I might have to attend that online lecture. Then I'll come back for the rest of the Pomodoro session. So, I'm hoping that all in all, maybe today, minimum, I should be able to do three sessions, um, which will accumulate to like three hours. Kind of. But either way, either I'm able to do that or more. Yeah. So, let's get started. Okay. Okay, so I'm about to start the first Pomodoro session. And as I said, it's going to consist of a 50 minutes active study and then a 10 minutes break. Now, what I'm going to do right now is start with my textbook, because I have a few things to cover here before going onto the laptop to do some few top ups. Okay, so I've set the time to 50 minutes and I'm going to study for 50 minutes and then take a 10 minutes break. So as you can see, that's about 50. Yep. So let's get started.
Okay, so uh, I'm done with the first Pomodoro session. That's my first 15 minutes of active studying. But then I'm supposed to have an online lecture, which will be for another two to um, three hours. It's currently 10 a.m. But then by the time we'll be done to be around 12 to maybe 1 p.m., something like that. Um, so I have to go and attend that lecture right now. Uh, and I, I, I can see the fasting is already getting me. <laughs> I'm already a bit hungry but i think uh, the phase where you feel hungry be able to overcome it for some time then you enter that state of uh, adrenaline rush kind of yeah so i have to go and come Welcome back and currently I am hungry. I am very hungry and I'm also tired but then today I'm fully, I'm fully prepared. I'm still going to finish with my Pomodoro sessions hoping that I don't run into hypoglycemic shock. <laughs> no worries but then I'm just done with my online session uh, session that was where our topic on bent. It was a very fruitful session and also for the first prayer, which is the zoo, I've prayed and I am back to continue with this study session. Um, currently, the time is two. That means that the online lecture took like three to four hours. Uh, but other than that, I'm still going to finish up with this Pomodoro session. So as you can see, that's 50 minutes, right? Okay. Nice. So let's go into the next session. At this point i'm feeling a bit tired probably because i'm hungry but then i still have to pull through this pomodoro session so at least just for today um either ways i don't want to spend too much time but then i did pause the time that's uh, my 15 minutes for the second session and i'm left with about um that's about um, 30 minutes approximately so i want to finish the second pomodoro session I don't want to waste too much time. I want to continue to lock in and sink in again. So let's get to it. So my break officially starts now, my 10 minutes break. 
And um, looking at the time, I think uh, it's almost time for our second prayer. So maybe within the break, I want to pray and pray. Yeah. So in this break, I'm basically going to try and get my mind off whatever I was reading so that I can have a clear mind for my next and last Pomodoro session. And I'll basically be replying uh, some of my WhatsApp uh, messages and also maybe go on TikTok, listen to a few jokes and kind of relax a bit before I come for the next Pomodoro session. I am thirsty. Uh, I am tired. And I am feeling sleepy a bit. Yo guys, so I'm back from my short break and I am preparing to start the next and last Pomodoro session for the day. Currently I've used all my energy but I think I still have a little bit to finish the last session of Pomodoro and probably go home and eat and break my fast. Um, yeah, but then I want to say that uh, being in the month of Ramadan isn't an excuse uh, to not engage in other activities or maybe read. Because even if you're in the month of Ramadan, you still have to uh, perform kind of your daily prayers and also give praises to the Almighty. Uh -huh. Those are the activities you're supposed to be doing during the day. So kind of I'm, I'm seeing this to be normal, even though I know it's not easy, but I mean, it's something we have to go through, yeah? But then, at the end of the day, the main thing is that it's not easy studying and fasting at the same time. That's the end point. Without wasting too much time, the time currently is um, uh, about 3.45 going to 4 o'clock. And I have to finish the last Pomodoro session before going home so I can break my fast. So let's get started with the next Pomodoro session. So for the last Pomodoro session, I'll probably not be using my test book. I will just be using the laptop because I have some notes to go over and I can't do that if I'm using the test book. Yeah. And also with the topic we had today, that's the lecture on bands. I, I just realized that I will have to look at a few things on bands on my laptop also. So for the last Pomodoro session, I'm going to do everything on my laptop. And probably with my daughter. <laughs> I'm about to start the Pomodoro session and as usual I've set my timer to 50 minutes. I know the 50 minutes. And let's get started. So I'm just done with the last Pomodoro session and I'm really happy uh, even though there were a lot of uh, 
interruptions since I started. I was still able to pull through these three uh, Pomodoro sessions. Uh, currently, I'm tired, and the time currently is uh, around five, going to to six. So I'll just have to pack up my things and head home to pick my towel. And I hope uh, this study session has been fruitful. For me, it has been because I've been able to um, kind of do other things that I didn't plan for. The lecture session we had, and also me reading on Benz also was something I didn't actually plan to do. But then that's just basically how medical school is. There are times you plan, but then other things come into play. You have to make time for them, just kind of reorganize your schedule and stuff. Um, other than that, I would want to say like today's study session has really been kind of like a real life scenario rather than kind of a simulated one. Uh, so I'm really happy I was able to do all the three sessions today, even though I'm hungry currently, but then it's, it has been fruitful. So if you did enjoy, you can try like and subscribe and comment below. And I hope you did also enjoy this study session. Uh, and Ramadan Mubarak to our Muslim friends again. Yep. Okay, so see you. Mm -hmm.